everyone else has. And that's the reason to be a Jew. The one thing that we have that no one else has is a Torah. A Torah given at Sinai, when Sinai was not a hospital, but a mountain. And we Jews took that magnificent heritage and we threw it away. For what? For the suburbs? For the right to be equal? You can be equal and be Jewish-Jewish. So you young people, this summer, take off from school. Take off from school. Go to Israel. And enroll in a yeshiva. Any yeshiva. I don't... If you don't like it, quit. If you like it, stay. And don't come back. Write to your parents and say, listen, I've come home. I'm staying. Not going not to make them happy, but it's not the first time they have made, made them happy, but this time for something good. And stay there. Who says every Jew has to have a BA? Who says that every Jew has to be doctor, lawyer, CPA, or marry one? Where? What would I say that? You can learn to work with your hands. You can learn to plant a tree on a Jewish settlement in Judea and Samaria, which belongs to us and not to them. Have love. Quiet. Even they're impressed. And get married and have a dozen babies. We owe Hitler two and a half million babies. Let's pay him back with interest. Everyone a gem, everyone a diamond. And then 30 years from now, when you're sitting in your settlement, which is now a town, our town, and you talk to your children and your grandchildren in Hebrew, and you tell them how it was when you first began, and they look up at you, and in Hebrew they say, Eza Saba, what a grandfather, Eza Safta, what a grandmother. Then you know what being Jewish is. Then you know what Jewish pride is. Forget them. They're dandruff. We just brush them off. They're not relevant. You're relevant. The country is ours. It will never go under. Don't be afraid of Saddam. Don't be afraid of Arafat. They're nothing. I'm a little worried about leftist Jews, but they're also nothing. Come home. Come home. Come home. And I want to finish with a Dvar Torah as a rabbi. The Talmud tells us that when God wanted to give the Torah to the Jewish people, so all the uh, highest mountains, the loftiest mountains, all came, and each one said, give me the honor. I want the honor. Give it on my peak. And God said, no, I have a small mountain. It, it's called Sinai. And, and I'm giving it on that small mountain to teach the Jew a lesson, to be humble. Small mountain, humble. Right? Now, that's a nice lesson, right? Goes over well with Hillel. Now, the Ger Rebbe, a great, great scholar and also smart, the Ger Rebbe asked an obvious question, which I'm sure some of the clever ones here have already thought of. He said, if God wanted to teach the Jew to be humble, why didn't he give the Torah in a valley? You don't get lower. That, that's about the lowest, the most humble that one can get. Good question, right? Come on, fellas. Come on. Honestly, good question. And the answer he, he gave was, God wanted to teach the Jews two lessons. One, be humble. Two, don't be too humble. We Jews are in valleys. Nobody steps on us. Those days are gone forever. We are mountains. We're not arrogant mountains, but we are mountains. And know that. And know that. And I hope that this afternoon, there were Jewish students that had never heard me speak before and only knew from Mort, never read a book of mine, never heard me speak, and yet said, God is a Hitler. I, I hope you've heard me, me speak. And I hope that at least you've now listened and you can think, you know, maybe there's something there. Maybe there's something.